Yeah, I guess so this is 13.2 candidate theory of gases. So kita, these are the things that we need to cover. Okay. So bila kita when we talk about candidate theory of gases means that all the scientists make some assumption to make life easier lah. So basically these are the things that you need to know. There are more. Basically saya ambil sikit-sikit je. So all gases are made up of atoms or molecules. Okay, so gases tu dia ada satu atom, 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 dia combine jadi banyak. And all atoms or molecules move randomly and haphazardly. So, dia bergerak random lah, dia tak ada specific, okay, semua ke kanan, to the left, to the right, no. So, the volume of the atoms or molecules is negligible when compared to the volume occupied by the gas. This is normally because our atom is so small in comparison to the size of a container. So, kalau kita, kenapa saya kata so small? Sebab kita pun tak nampak gas molecule tersebut. Maksudnya, dia sangat kecil sampai kita tak nampak. Okay. So, sebab tu kalau kita kata satu container 60 liter. So, the volume of the gas will be 60 liter juga. So, kita just ambil dia punya volume container with the assumption that the whole container is filled with gas molecules. Okay. So, the vol the one the molecules are in contact motion so they undergo perfectly elastic collision with each other and with the wall of the container so the intermolecular forces are negligible except during the collision and also yang paling penting bawah ni lah tak lebih penting lah it's one of the important atom molecule move with constant speed between collision means that throughout the journey volume dia is constant ok so because that normally this, uh, this thing come up with your paper 1 untuk objective questions but then because we only do it paper 2 subjective questions so just to be safe half a 3, 4 cukup lah ok then kita ada root mean square RMS speed of the gas molecule so this is VRMS so by definition is the square root of the mean square speed so VRMS equal to set. this one is mean square lah mean to purata Okay, ataupun equal to set 3 P V over N M. So, this is one of the equation lah. Okay, so VRMS tu contohnya kalau kita ada banyak molecules. Okay, sebab tu kita kata for gas. So, V1 ni untuk one first gas molecule. So, ni untuk dua. So, untuk tiga. So, untuk empat. Untuk lima gas molecules lah. So, dalam container kita ada banyak gas molecules. Dia punya atom. Okay, so VRMS ni kita just ambil average value je. Okay, maksudnya kita kira setiap satu kita tambah-tambah bahagikan dengan banyak gas molecule yang kita ada. Ha, so, kita dapat dia punya VRMS. So, ataupun VRMS, the other equation is set 3 KT over M ataupun set 3 RT over M. So, T ni temperature must be in Kelvin. So, the mass must be in KG. So, capital M even molar mass mestilah KG per mol. Ha, yang ni kena jaga. Ini memang kena jaga. So, how do we get this one? So, basically, kita convertkan kinetic energy equal to the internal energy. So, kinetic energy 1 per 2 m v square. Internal energy 3 per 2 kt. Okay. So, set v square sama dengan 3 kt over m. So, this is the mean, uh, the square, the mean kan? Tak. Okay, the mean square speed So, kita nak VRMS Kita setkan this one So, kita kena setkan belakang jugalah So, VRMS equal to set 3 kT over M So, you got quick keep in mind that Mass ni mesti dalam kg Molar mass must be in kg per mol. And also, we know that VRMS Is directly proportion with set T And inversely proportion with Mass Okay, means that VRMS is depending on berapa banyak gas yang ada. And also, kalau the temperature dia naik, dia punya VRMS dia akan lagi tinggi. Logik lah. So, temperature naik means that all the gas molecules ada lagi absorb more heat energy. So, lagi laju lah. Because lagi tinggi heat energy dia absorb means that dia akan jadi tinggi velocity sebab so kinetic energy dia lagi tinggi. Right? So, this that is VRMS. So, you need to know the equation lah. So, dia punya derivation ni tak berapa penting sebab tak ada dalam syllabus kita. Okay, next. Okay, hi. So, this is gas pressure. So, basically, we know that bila dalam satu container, macam awak punya balloon lah. Bila awak tiup, satu masa dia pecah. Okay. 
Macam kenapa dia pecah? Sebab dia pressure. Kenapa macam ni pressure terhasil? Okay, bila you blow the balloon, basically you as you masukkan dalam balloon awak gas. This gas molecules, macam ni terhasil ni pressure kepada dinding balloon tersebut. This gas molecules dia akan bergerak secara random. Dia akan move to the right, to the left. Dia akan berlanggar sesama sini dan juga dia akan berlanggar dengan wall of balloon tersebut. So, bila dia langgar dekat wall of balloons, tu yang akan menghasilkan pressure. So, sekarang kita akan tengok lah macam mana pressure tu terhasil. What are the calculations involved? Okay. So, ni adalah contohnya lah kita tak, akan cakap pasal molecules of the mass M tu kat bawah. So, kalau kita ada one container here. Okay. So, this molecules is moving to the left. Okay. Then akan patah balik lah. So, initial is moving to the right. Vx. So, bila dia rimbang, akan bergerak ke kiri. So, we know that the assumption dalam idea gas that we assume is that the gas are moving with constant speed throughout the collision. So, change of momentum Px sebab dalam x component m negative Vx minus m Vx. Okay. So, kita akan dapat negative 2 m Vx. Okay. Tu. So, kita ada wall A here. Okay, dan kita nak katalah kita nak to hit wall A twice. Okay, sebab kita nak change momentum. So, we know that Vx equal to S over T. So, apa yang jadi lepas dia dah langgar, dia dah rebound. So, moving to the left with distance D. Dia akan patah balik dekat D untuk langgar wall yang sama. Okay, so Vx equal to 2D over delta T. So, delta T equal to 2D over Vx. So, and also we, we learn in chapter 3 that impulse equal to F delta T and also sama dengan change of momentum. Okay. So, force exerted on the wall equals to delta P over delta T. Okay. So, because delta P ni kita the main direction, so kita ambil magnitude je. 2 and Vx. Delta T equal to 2, 2D times Vx. So, kita dapat M Vx square over D. Okay. So, basically, the force that we calculated this is for one molecules only. So, kalau kita nak banyak-banyak molecules, kita kena tambahlah semua. So, dia pasal satu. So, untuk kalau banyak-banyak, total forces will be MVX1 square over D then tambah MV2X square tambah D and so on. Sampai banyak-banyak-banyak. So, we can conclude that. Kita boleh factorize kan kita punya. This one. F sama dengan M over D. V1 X square. Tambah V2 X square. Plus plus plus. Okay. So, we know that. Kita punya this one. Untuk banyak molecule. So, Vx square. Kita punya mean dia lah. This is basically average dia lah kan. Okay. Sama dengan Vx. 1 square plus Vx2 square plus blah blah bagi dengan number of molecules. Okay. So basically Vx1 square ni sama dengan N times Vx square Vx square. Okay. So daripada sini kita just substitute je lah. So force kita dah jadi M Number of molecules times Vx square over D. So, as in the diagram, kita punya velocity yang ini. Nampak kan? Sekejap. So, velocity awak ni akan bergerak in Vx, Vy dan juga Vz. Banyak direction. So, data min V sama dengan Vx square plus Vy square plus Vz. Square. Dia tak boleh salah satu je Sebab basically V ni velocity yang kita dapat ni Adalah resultant voltage uh, Resultant velocity dia So sebab kita banyak sangat molecules And also we see that they are moving With this constant speed So Vx square Akan sama dengan Vy square sama dengan Vz square So means that V square kita Adalah hasil tambah Vx So kita dapat Vx square Okay, so means that Vx square sama dengan V square times divided by 3. 
Okay. So dekat sini kita ganti je lah V equal to mn Over d V square over 3 Okay so this is a force lah Force for the whole Gas molecules So next kita masuk yang betul-betul kita nak So pressure equal to F over A So this is a Symmetry container So force is M N V square over 3D So area will be D square Okay so dapat M N V square over 3D cube So 3D cube basically is The volume so P equal to MN V square over 3V Then density sama dengan NM over V So this is density of the gas Sebab tu kita kali number of molecules of the gas Okay so apa yang kita buat Kita just ganti je lah Pressure sama dengan This is one of the equation Kalau pressure in term of density will be so M dah ada So rho Over 3 times Square of Velocity okay, So kita ada 2 equation for pressure This is will be 2 equation Okay So we know that VRMS sama dengan Z V square Okay Z dia So kalau kita dapat VRMS square So it will be V square So means that this equation for pressure Boleh jawab jadi M N over 3 V Times V RMS square Ataupun 1 per 3 Rho V RMS square Okay So ada dua equation lah You can refer to my notes about this Okay so that's it Thank you